With the ongoing war and widespread hunger gripping the Gaza Strip, it's difficult to imagine the future of a post-war Gaza, let alone an independent Palestinian state. Throughout Israeli uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's tenure, he has consistently maintained that there is no credible negotiating partner on the Palestinian side. But Netanyahu is well aware of one figure, often referred to as the Palestinian Nelson Mandela, who enjoys widespread popularity and supports peaceful coexistence with Israel. His name is Marwan Barghouti, and his image adorns murals across cities and towns in Gaza and the West Bank, pointing to his mass appeal. Despite being imprisoned currently, Barghouti is still seen as one of the strongest candidates to lead the Palestinian people. Now in his 60s, Barghouti has long been a key player in Palestinian politics, joining Yasser Arafat's Fatah movement at the age of 15. However, he gained prominence among his people because of his long-standing long quest for Palestinian independence. In 2004, Barghouti was sentenced by an Israeli court to five consecutive life sentences for directing attacks against Israelis in the Second Intifada after he grew disillusioned with the peace process. However, Barghouti came to realize the necessity of coexistence after years of struggle. He advocates for permanent peace between Israelis and Palestinians as independent and equal neighbors. Top Israeli paper Haaretz published an editorial as far as uh, back, back as 2012, noting his potential. Quote, if Israel had wanted an agreement with the Palestinians, it would have released him from prison by now. Barghouti is the most authentic leader Fatah has produced, and he can lead his people to an agreement. Anyone who thinks like the Israeli government does that this situation can go on forever undisturbed is leading us into another cycle of violence. Members of Israeli's own security establishment have also called for his release. Speaking to The Guardian in January, the former head of Israel's Shin Bet government security service endorsed Barghouti as, quote, the only leader who can lead Palestinians to a state alongside Israel. Despite being incarcerated, he consistently polls higher than President Mahmoud Abbas and enjoys backing from both religious conservatives and secularists. He's long been perceived as a threat to the ineffectual Abbas who canceled elections in 2012, fearing that he would lose to Barghouti. Today, he's increasingly being touted as a replacement for Abbas, Abbas due to his ability to bridge political divides. In 2006, Barghouti, along with other jailed Palestinian leaders, released an historic proposal known as the National Conciliation Document of the Prisoners. It outlined a coalition government. Several Palestinian factions collaborated on the proposal, including Hamas. Notably, it called for negotiations with Israel. That document, produced 18 years ago, is now widely regarded as the cornerstone for any future unity government. In 2002, Barghouti described his position in his own words, writing in the Washington Post, I am not a terrorist, but neither am I a pacifist. I am simply a regular guy from the Palestinian street advocating only what every other oppressed person has advocated, the right to help myself in the absence of help from anywhere else. I have been a tireless advocate of peace based on fairness and equality. I led delegations of Palestinians in meetings with Israeli parliamentarians to promote mutual understanding and cooperation. I still seek peaceful coexistence between the equal and independent countries of Israel and Palestine. I do not seek to destroy Israel, but only to end its occupation of my country.